Summer is here, which means it's time to be as productive as you possibly can, said nobody ever. Uh, also, you know, like there's, there's some truth to that statement. Summer is, for like, at least the school students, is the one time of the year where you're like completely free. You don't really have to worry about anything else. And this is usually the best time of the year to get on head on work for the actual school year. Now, I just finished high school and I'm going to be heading off to college in the fall. So I don't have to do any of the Olympiad prep or summer math and science camps or research internships or other random internships that you guys in high school probably have to do because you're trying to boost your college up and get into the best college possible. But what I have to do is figure out how I'm going to spend my college time and enjoy this last summer before I head off to college. Now, I haven't really figured out how to be productive this summer, but I'm assuming some of you guys have and most of you guys haven't. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to figure out a to-do list for myself, figure out how I'm going to accomplish the goals that I set for myself in this to-do list, and figure out exactly what the heck it is I'm doing before I go off to college this fall. This video was inspired by Carrera, so go check him out. I'll leave a link in the description. Hey guys, I'm Sid. I'm a high school senior. Um, not really. I just graduated. I'm in between being a high school senior and a freshman at Georgia Tech studying computer science starting this fall. And like I just mentioned, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the things that I want to do this summer, the things I need to do this summer, the goals I'm setting for myself, and how exactly I'm going to accomplish those goals. So if you want to figure out what those are and also maybe learn how to do that for yourself this summer, then watch this video. Organizing my to-do list basically into two buckets, things that I have to get done this summer and things that I want to get done this summer. Now, there's going to be some sort of an overlap between this because I'm not always the best, and this is one of my biggest flaws, at, nego at figuring out what I have to get done and what I really, really, really want to get done. And then when I can't tell the difference between those two, I can't get anything done and everything just falls apart. But we're going to try to fix that in this video. As much as I want to be playing Valorant for like five hours a day, and I think I have probably been playing Valorant a lot so far this summer, that's not something that can really continue because I want to do a lot more things that are cooler and a lot more productive for myself and a lot more beneficial for my career and my mental health and a bunch of other very, very important things. So first off, the number one thing that I really want to be doing this summer is coding. A lot, a lot a lot of coding. I haven't coded a lot in like the last few months. I've been doing a, you know, a few mini projects here and there, but I want to build a lot of big things. And this summer I'm going to be starting off with that. I'm going to get back into building big applications and I've already started working on a little mobile application with Flutter that I'll hopefully have done in like the next week. And then I can make a video about that. I also want to start doing a lot of web development, learning React, getting really good at it and um, being able to take on freelance projects. Something else that I'm going to be doing this summer I want to take on like a freelance project every two weeks and try to deliver it and get paid for it because I really want to have things to put in my portfolio before I head off to college and have to apply for internships in the fall. So that's something really big that I want to do. Just a lot of programming. I love programming. It's something that I'm going to be majoring in a computer, well, not really computer science isn't exactly just programming, but I will be majoring in computer science and I want to get as much experience as I can before I go. I've been coding for a long time, but I don't have a lot of projects to show for myself. And I want to change that this summer. I want to build things. I want to build cool things that you guys can use, that other people can use. And I will show it off to the world. And that's what I'm going to be doing this summer. I'll be coding in a few different tech stacks. One, I'll be using Flutter and Firebase for some mobile apps. And then I'll be using React and Node.js um, or React and Django uh, or React and Flask for some web apps that I want to build. And then I also want to try using React Native to build some uh, mobile apps. And then also, if I have time, then I want to try to do some game development, but who knows if that'll happen. But I really want to do React for web development and Flutter for mobile app development. That's something I want to do this summer, and I think it'd be really cool to do. I'm also going to be incorporating a lot of machine learning aspects into these projects, but I have quite a few machine learning projects. So I'm not going to be spending too much time on doing solely like machine learning models. I'm going to instead try to incorporate machine learning models into these projects. Um, build out the machine learning uh, models in Python, export them as like pickle files and then load them into these apps and uh, then see what I can do with them. If you want to see what projects I end up building, then consider hitting the subscribe button and leaving a like and commenting down below on what projects you might want to see me build. Other things that I really do have to do this summer and I kind of also want to do. I have to tutor. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of tutoring clients. Well, not a bunch. I have a few tutoring clients that I'm going to be teaching Python for some and others I'll be tutoring in Usico. And if you want to know more about Usico, then I'll leave a link to my video talking about how I got to Usico Platinum down in the description down below. But they've paying me to tutor them. So I want to deliver the highest quality experience possible. So I'll be working on preparing materials, 
figuring out problems for them to attempt and also improving my teaching skills so that I'm being able to give the best service that I can because I am charging for it. And when you're charging for tutoring, it kind of pushes you to actually do good quality work instead of, you know, sometimes if you're just volunteering as a tutor, sometimes you may slack a little bit, but this time around, I'm giving it my best shot and doing the best work that I can so that they get the best experience that they do, the best experience that they can, not bad. And a little bit related to tutoring is that I wanna make some money this summer. So tutoring is one way that I'm gonna be making money. And let's talk about another way that I hope to get money that's kind of related to the programming thing that I just mentioned. Like I mentioned, for a brief period of time in my programming section, I wanna start freelancing this summer. So doing freelance projects for people on like Upwork, you know, maybe do some web scraping for somebody, maybe build out like a quick little landing page for some sort of person or company. And given that I don't really have a lot of experience, I don't hope, um, to get too many contracts or really even maybe any contracts, but I do want to try to do two to three uh, freelance jobs this summer. Um, and that's something that I really want to do. It's not something that I have to do, but I really want to do it because I think it would be really cool. And it would also help me improve my programming skills, like I already mentioned in the programming section. And it also give me some money that I could end up spending in college. So I'm not a broke college student because that would be bad. Something that I really have to do and I really want to do is make a lot of YouTube videos. I like making YouTube videos. Um, I like making videos for you guys and answering questions that you might have if you have any video topics that you want me to make uh, or suggestions that you want to see in videos further down the line. Leave them in the comments down below or join my Discord server link in the description and tell me about those. But I want to make at least one video a week, preferably two YouTube videos a week. And I also want to post a lot on TikTok. I have like 3,200 followers, which is really cool. And I want to continue to grow that following and post a lot of TikToks that help people get into computer science. And I'm going to be doing that by posting, you know, a few times a week. I don't know how many, I don't really know how the platform works too well, but I do want to post a lot on TikTok and I do want to post a lot on YouTube because I think it's just really, really cool to make content and put it out and have other people watch because like I have what, like 570 subscribers, 570 people is a lot. That's 570 people that would listen to me talk, which is just insane. And of course, having a YouTube channel is something that's really cool. And if I continue into the future, it's just something that'll be really cool to look back on when, you know, maybe eventually I'll have like 5,000 subscribers and that would be crazy. And that would be really cool to look back on in like two years and be like, wow, I did something pretty cool. It also will help me show off my projects so that maybe some people use my projects. And it'll also maybe impress employers that people care about projects that I build. I don't really know. Something else that I really want to do is read. Uh, I haven't been reading a lot less last year, but as you can tell by like my what I read in May video, I got back into reading and I'm loving it so far. Uh, I'm reading some new books and I'm gonna make another what I read in June video and I'm gonna do that for at least the whole summer. And I really wanna get back into reading, read a lot more fiction, uh, maybe read some nonfiction. And it's just a fun thing that I used to do and now I'm getting back into it and it's always nice to do that. I also wanna do physical activity. That's something that I've definitely been slacking on. Uh, but you know, I've been getting out a little bit more and I hope to do that regularly Like I don't know go for a run every day um, And improve my physical health before I head off to college because I'm gonna have to be walking a lot in Atlanta And I really want to be sure that my body doesn't give out by being a Homebody that just really never gets out of this good old chair How am I gonna accomplish all of these pretty lofty goals and there's a few ways that I'm gonna be doing this First off, I'm gonna have obviously a daily schedule. I have my Google Calendar and I'll show it somewhere over here. And here's the thing about daily schedules. You're never gonna follow them, right? You know, you might follow them for a few days, but then after that, it's kind of gonna break apart. But they're not really there, so you follow them to the dot. Although if you can do that, then hey, great, power to you. But I personally can't. Daily schedules are there to remind you of the tasks that you should be getting done every day. And even if you don't do that in the exact order that you see in your daily schedule, like. I'm supposed to be coding from 9 to 11 a.m. Most of the time, I don't, I honestly just don't wake up before 9 a.m. Well, I do wake up before 9 a.m. I just don't get ready before 9 a.m. So I can't code at 9 a.m. But I do do everything that I have on my daily schedule. I just don't do it in the order that I have it. It's kind of just like a to-do list that's there every day. So you don't have to make a new to-do list every day. Uh, although I do do that too. And it just keeps things that you have to do in the forefront of your mind so that you know that you are need to do what you have to do. And if you're working on something that you're not supposed to be working on, it'll put some guilt into your brain. Like, man, I kind of shouldn't be playing Valorant right now. I should probably go do some work. And it's kind of helped me, you know? I do leave Valorant games after they're over. And I don't, and when people say one more, 
I usually say no, although not all the time. Every day when I wake up, I write down daily notes in Obsidian, um, and my daily notes consist of a few things. One, something that I have to get done today. If there's one thing, only one thing that I can get done today, I'm gonna get this thing done today. Usually that consists of one, uh, filming a YouTube video or working on a certain coding project. Those are my usual two, I have to get this thing done today. Today, mine was, I have to film this video. Then I also write down my to-do list for the day in that same Obsidian document. It's just a normal markdown file. I write down my to-do list and as I go through the day, as I do things, I just check them off and it feels really good to do so. I also sometimes write down like a little reflection of what I'm thinking about and what is important to me at that time, at that day. And that also helps me keep uh, my mind focused and on track to accomplish the goals that I've set for myself. I also use Notion a lot, and I don't really use Notion like a lot of other people do, um, as like they're everything, like it's just their project manager for absolutely everything that they do. I actually, you know, nothing about it. I kind of do use it for a lot. I use it for my YouTube and TikTok. I use it to think of video ideas, and then I track the process, progress of my videos from uh, idea to kind of scripting to editing to filming, to editing, to actually uploading it to YouTube. And that's something that Notion is super helpful for. It has a nice Kanban board. Um, I also use it to track like my tutoring, um, fees that I'm charging people, um, materials that I'm gonna be using to tutor the students, and a bunch of other things. So Notion, Notion is helping me accomplish these goals. Notion, if you see this, please sponsor my YouTube channel. I know I only have like 570 subscribers, but hey, so, you know, sponsor me, it'd be cool. Step to actually helping me get these goals done is uh, public accountability. Now that I've said them all in this video and people are actually gonna watch this YouTube video, if I don't do them, it would make me look very, very, very stupid, which motivates me to actually do the things that I just mentioned I would do. Um, so if you're hearing this, then make sure that you're gonna hold yourself kind of publicly accountable. You know, it doesn't have to be to posting to the internet and posting to strangers and saying, hey, I'm gonna do this. And if I, if I don't, they call me stupid. But you know, maybe tell your friends about things that you're doing and tell them to, you know, maybe check up on you every once in a while and be like, hey, are you continuing to work on that thing that you said you would? And are you done with what you're doing? And you know, it does help because then you're like, ah, oh, these people are like, these people are expecting me to get this done. So I have to get this done. And motivation isn't something that's always constant. Sometimes you have to build a habit. And you know, when people are checking in on your progress, it helps you keep that habit sustained so you continue to do the goals that you've set for yourself because you know these goals will, achieving these goals will help you in the long run. And sometimes it's not enough knowing that to get things done. And you do need some sort of external push to get this to get something done because not everybody has um, a crazy amount of intrinsic motivation like some people do. Well, that's all I really have to say on this topic. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. It really helped me out a lot. And if you want to follow what I'm doing with projects I'm working on, then consider following my Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram links in the description. If you want to talk about this video and anything else that was mentioned really on this YouTube channel, then join my Discord server. Link in the description below. There's a bunch of cool people there. I'm always active. If you have any questions, I'll probably answer you really quickly. And if you have any questions, you can just DM me on, on any of the social media platforms or on Discord, and I'll probably answer, or you can leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Oh